If you can get the king to visit your bedchamber on the first evening, you'll be perceived as a great success. Uh, this story in Denmark is a quite a famous one. It's almost one of the big, you know, Danish uh, culture things that we have. And all the Danes know about this, and they talk about oh, the Strunze story and the Caroline, and and so. But it had never been done as film before. And a couple of years ago, four years ago, I started thinking, why? I mean, why has no nobody done this film? And and can I do it? And uh, I started hearing about there were many who had tried, and you know, but it always. Um, sort of failed on either the script was too bad or the financing, you know, fell down because it's too expensive. But I thought, hey, I'll give it a try. And uh, after one year, I'd written the script. And after three more years, I finally got the money together to do it. I would say it's, it's more a film about uh, being open to influences and new ideas. And, uh, you know, I, I love the sort of vision of, of, the, of the enlightenment, you know, rolling through Europe at that time. And I think Denmark in particular was very close towards that. And I think Denmark still has some of those issues, like they're a bit close towards the rest of Europe, and uh, they could learn from, from, from that time. Now, uh, when the film is done, it's become a little bit more relevant in a different way, because, you know, we have the Arab Spring, we have all these things happening around the world with revolutions everywhere. So it's become relevant, but, but by no intention of me, because, you know, I wrote the script four years ago, but I can definitely see the sort of themes that are there. I came out of film school in 2001 and uh, I was a totally big fan of mass, as is probably everybody in Denmark and many other places, by the way. And I had always wanted to work with him, but I couldn't find sort of a role that fitted him, that was strong enough that I wanted to ask him. And then finally, when I, when I wrote this one, I thought, here's the, the role that I can ask mass to do. And I sent it to him. I didn't really know him very well. I sent it to him and he luckily, I mean, he said yes immediately, he said, this is perfect, let's do it. And that was very lucky for me because he hadn't done a Danish film in five years. So I was just very happy and very lucky. I think the most difficult thing was trying to keep it modern and not make it too, you know, old fashioned or, or you know, very historically always correct, but having it be historically correct, but with modern feeling characters and that you felt that these people were alive now and that you could relate to them as people you knew today. So that was quite challenging, not only for the direction and the acting, but also with the photography and you know, the editing, the music. So, so that was quite a challenge.